also because this swing arm part is also mm -hmm. a very main part because okay. this gets into action okay. and goes up and down. Okay. So you see this rusting over this uh -huh. because you have a, uh, bearings inside uh -huh. this. Okay. So very closely when you see how this part is and how this part that is. Part is yeah. There is a part of the service because your bike has done more than 30,000 kilometers. Yeah. So we'll be cleaning it, regreasing and fixing it back. Okay. So when it is like this, what exactly happens is the squeezy sound mm -hmm. in the action. action. Huh. So this is what you experience when you don't have any lubricant over this. Okay, okay. So we can just like clean up and then fix it back. Yeah. That's all with this? Yeah, that's all. Okay, okay. Yeah, the other one is this one. Let's see. Okay. This only this bush goes. Okay. But you need to this change body. the whole thing for that. So only for this bush, uh -huh. the whole suspension is So that is not available separately as separately a Separately it part? is not available in this spare part. <laughs> Trying okay. to make it because it is so uh, tightly fixed through uh -huh. the hydraulic. Okay. Even if I make the part, okay. then what happens, you need the special tool to tool remove, to remove it from it. the hydraulic press uh -huh. itself. Uh -huh. Then to install also you need a hydraulic press. Okay, okay. You cannot so do if, it with the... So if you make something like that, how much would that cost? Uh, nominal pricing man because hardly a bush would cost you 600 to 700, 700 yeah uh, and keeping the better material mm -hmm. so rather than spending 4800 mm -hmm. just by like 600 that's a huge difference is what them. i am looking for mm -hmm. because you have a rubber bushing also it is just mm -hmm. not the metal okay, okay you have the rubber bushing also okay so it should be molded mm -hmm. so in process of making it okay because in Nepal, mm -hmm. just Himalayan, mm -hmm. like I have an inquiry, for mm -hmm. 200 Hima Himalayans they have this issue. That issue. Because those okay. are the rental bikes over okay, there, okay. like uh -huh. in Leh region, okay. have a lot of Himalayans okay. for rental, okay. even uh -huh. they have that issue. Uh -huh. So then even on regular basis, a lot of like tourists have this issue. Okay. So it's just in like R&D, which mm -hmm. we are researching mm -hmm. and you want to develop that project. Hope you come up with any uh, uh, fix. fix. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so especially on your uh, suspension, it mm -hmm. was with the stock suspension. Huh. Like I have also seen your vlogs, it's more of like off-roading than the road oriented. Mm -hmm. So this is a setup in which we add an extra spring, okay. which is more compressed and has a more temper. Okay. So in this, the rebound is more better than the stock. So okay. it doesn't get that easily compressed also. And mm -hmm. even the rebound, see, very mm -hmm. smooth movement you get. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hit back very directly. Okay. Huh, huh. And also it doesn't get compressed that easily also. Okay. Huh. So the tension we have created is more than the stock. Okay. So backstory, we had changed the spring when yeah. I first came here, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So no one knows that because we didn't let it. Because I just wanted to, like, test most it of the time, uh -huh. like whatever I have done, even mm -hmm. now what I am doing, mm -hmm. and before this also, mm -hmm. it was only I had informed you. Because I really wanted that organic, mm -hmm. real-time mm -hmm. review from yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. So that would be helpful for others as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Not just by fixing and telling this is good or bad. Yeah, yes, exactly. And the followers uh, wait for your review because you do it in a right way. Your stock spring, okay. your Royal Enfield stock springs, you see the coiling only up to here. Uh -huh. So this just ah. for the testing on yes. your bike. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just for the testing of on your bike. Mm -hmm. So I have made a different spring. Okay. So in this the coiling, the compression we have kept up to here. Here. So it is more strong. And here it's still here. So ba yeah. basically this is the stock one. Stock one. This is something you provide me. Yeah. Okay. I just like had to, like I told you earlier, <laughs> just for reviewing and knowing <laughs> the feeling on the suspension, <laughs> how it changes. Okay. So the height and all, it remains same. Okay. But only this coiling, it is changed, changed. here. Huh. It is much more stronger. Mm -hmm. And even in the uh, compression and also on the rebound, mm -hmm. it's a better smoother, feedback. Smoother experience. Smoother. Yeah. I definitely did notice. Yeah. Mm. 
So because you were using the stock one, mm -hmm. and now you were using this, mm -hmm. so this difference mm -hmm. you might experience. I think and almost one point five years, right? I've used. Yeah, almost. Almost, almost one point five years. years. Mm -hmm. Still not launched. I just wanted that feedback from mm -hmm. you. It's good. <coughs> I yeah. I could feel the difference. Yeah, it is much so more smoother. Right so experience. How will improvise the thing because we have all the measurements and mm -hmm. drawings of the same. So material, pricing, mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. will work it on and we'll provide it to the bike service. Rusting now. So cleaning is done. Now is greasing it. Okay. So the cushion is also you can show now. This is the part where we saw earlier. It was rusted. Right now they have cleaned it and uh, they're putting some grease onto it, just like they should. And there goes the final part. You are so heartless, and you don't care. And I don't even know what else to find. This is the other part of servicing where this is the gearbox sprocket gb sprocket normally it is mm -hmm. called so whatever the loop we do so see you see all the deposits here mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. it comes and gets deposited like how you can see here yes, yes, very close yes. ah. so in the complete service we also clean this part mm -hmm. and again like fix back your gearbox sprocket okay otherwise like uh, even now the friction is good because in off roading you are not holding much of the clutch and ride so if you hold with the abs on and ride so this friction marks will not be there it will all be deleted mm -hmm. so like that Change so even riding style depends riding style clutch is 100% on ride right. change kar do okay so what's going on right now is uh, servicing my bike this is like a yearly maintenance or a general service that out of motorcycles does 
so the cones is kind of done they've fixed it they've put the new NTN bearings and everything right now they've removed my clutch the whole assembly I don't think I need uh, a replacement in clutch plates at the moment but it still looks good is what uh, Zohebai says and uh, so basically what we're doing right now is just a, a basic a service this is doing everything so I just wanted to give an update about that and about the the cone set that is done it's all in there it's set up and that is the swing arm it had to be greased so that's done you guys can see that uh, you guys must have seen that shot in the video before we're changing the clutch plates right now that we have opened it anyway so uh, he said it's good to change it it still looks good for 34,000 kilometers but let's just change it some parts of it are kind of burnt as you guys can see here yeah look at that so some of it is burnt and some of it is not so it's better to change it uh, right now so this is the new one brand new so don't leave me alone So we are using this fully synthetic 7100 I never used this oil before This was the first time I'm trying it So let's see how it goes It's pretty dirty and the part inside is even more dirty. Uh, they're gonna clean it right now. This is how it looks after cleaning. Looks brand new, isn't it? It's absolutely nothing. Look at that. It's clean. Good job, man. Nura is being pampered a lot today. So, the next part this is the front caliper. They've removed all the pistons and cleaned it thoroughly. So oh, good man, this one is red. This is actually really impressive that they've removed all the 
uh, pistons and cleaners. So this is how they do the normal service. This is how it works. This is how the general service works in here. Lovely, isn't it? So yeah, there you go. These are the, the caliper pistons, all clean and fresh. So here comes the fuel pump of Mr. Spiltress. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of like serious things. So let us like get into the there entertainment as well. <laughs> So this is something the Santa has gifted him. <laughs> so this is the part of our service where we clean the fuel filter, fuel filter. and fuel pump. Mm -hmm. And there you and go inside, Santa has kept something. <laughs> okay. So this is all the adulteration of the fuel or some particles you can okay. say. Uh -huh. So that will be getting it clean with the injector cleaners injector here. Injector cleaner. Right. So, and after that, the fueling will be even more better. better. And the, even the filtrations will be even more better. Mm -hmm. So that cleaning process is going on. This yeah. is a lot of like cottonous type of things, substances. So this is inside. in the petrol is? Yeah. So okay. basically this fuel filter attracts the impurities. Uh -huh. Like how oil filter attracts right. the impurities and uh -huh. purifies and gives back to the engine. Uh -huh. So this is your fuel pump. Okay which is most stock mm -hmm. when you ride with less fuel mm -hmm. it wears off very soon mm -hmm. and bike doesn't start so okay. it's also very important to take care of this part mm -hmm. by even keeping more fuel more than the reserve fuel mm -hmm. and also cleaning this part like mm -hmm. for 30,000 35,000 and to keep it mm -hmm. in a this good shape this should be my first time cleaning it right everything yeah. Whichever we are doing it <laughs> yeah, here. Exactly. First time actually. First time. So you see all this because this is the exposed part. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So this is how it is. You and can't blame me on like, that. No, not <laughs> that because the dust is from outside, not yeah. on you. <laughs> so this is where your fuel ah. pipe is fixed. So we're just like doing the cleaning part. Okay. Now. Perfect. Takes uh, quite a bit of a time to clean that, so I'll show you guys the final result, okay? This looks as if it's new. <clears throat> this must make a massive difference when you compare it to, uh, I mean, compare it to how it was before. So this is uh, washing, huh? Yeah. So after all the work, you guys uh, wash it. Yeah, yeah. So now all the dust and everything they have cleaned up uh -huh. with the cleaners. Okay. Right. So there is no much of the dust, okay. and also the anti-rust spray has been mm -hmm. sprayed. Mm -hmm. So then what happens? All the dust will get attracted. Mm -hmm. So we just give a foam wash now. Comes out easily. Yeah, comes out easily. Completed. I have now. to change the mobile holder by. Is it? Yeah. I have another one. Another okay. one. That will do it in the final. Bag. Yeah. Like okay. wiring before fixing the mm, sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah. tank will do it because we can do the right uh, routing mm. with the straps here mm. and the zip ties. Mm -hmm. Actual reason for me to come here was to change the mobile. <laughs> <laughs> I got the whole bike stripped and changed. <laughs> Your bike, I think so. She needed this. She needed this. And long she just time. like. Um, but she wasn't really that in bad condition as well, right? Not Considering really, really. how many how like, many kilometers are there? For thirty-two thousand kilometers. Thirty-four. Thirty-four thousand kilometers. I would tell that this is well maintained mm -hmm. and well ridden. Technically, well ridden. There you go. From himself, yeah. he said it. <laughs> well ridden because most of the time, like 34,000 first time, mm -hmm. even the clutch plates were not that bad. Bad, yes. But I have replaced out of my choice because mm -hmm. I don't want anything to happen in between. Between, yes. Right. The friction was all right, but mm -hmm. little bit here and there, the abrasion wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And the colors were changed. Changed, yes. I showed them now. So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, man. You need some headphones, bro. <laughs>
I'm gonna get this mobile holder fixed right over there and that's the wireless that's being removed so this goes in Okay, the bike is ready at the moment, so I'm just test riding. Hold on, I need to do that like I usually do. Perfect. Good. It's good. Do you want to ride it? Yeah. I feel good. Uh, that cone set issue, that seems to be okay right now. And uh, there was a lag before. Now that is not there. And the only difference, I mean, it's not an issue though. But what I used to feel is that the clutches, right? Eh? Uh, it used to be that half clutch. Huh. Now it's like I need to let it more for in order for it can be adjusted as per your riding style. Full clutch hmm. with like one inch sag what they have kept. Uh -huh. So normal uh, adjustment is one and a half inches. So okay. According to the riders, you can get it. Where the clutch bite used to release here or here? Uh, somewhere around here. Here is huh. it. Yeah, that can be loose enough. Hmm. Because now with the new clutch plate they have fixed. Huh? Uh -huh. Once you start using it will get slowly loosened. Uh -huh. Little bit we can get it loosened. But other than that, this um, absolutely everything is all right. Yeah. Chain seems to be very nice right Same now. Chain, huh. but, uh, the adjustment, adjustment seems. And also, we did it in the oil. Na? <laughs> so there was like one or two pieces <laughs> of adjustment. Yep. And same, it has come up well. Because normally, with that kind of these scenarios, we replace it. <laughs> because it was not that worse also. But <laughs> only because of the adjustment being so tight, <laughs> it was having that squeaky and tight gear. So yep, yep. Yeah. Seems to be good. I'll just like ride and see. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, so the bike is completely done right now. I, I still haven't gone home because it's uh, 
one forty right now, and it's raining. And Zohib Bai has been really kind enough to help me the whole day. The work that is done on my bike completely. He's gonna be giving you a gist on it. Okay. So yeah. just start. a brief on the things huh. what we have taken care mm -hmm. of this bike, and looking at your riding conditions and your vlogs, the kind of terrains you go, mm -hmm. and most of the time you are always alone. Yeah. Or you are with your friend. Friend. So. Uh, in that case, what happens is most of the things should be taken care in the service centers. Service centers. Hmm. Then you can head out without any, hmm. uh, like having that tension that this might go wrong. Mm -hmm. Because there are different types of like maintenance as well. Mm -hmm. So here at Art of Motorcycles, like myself, here Zuhaib, um, I'm a racer. Hmm. And then, then long distance tourer. Mm -hmm and also like maintaining the motorcycles on daily basis for all the tourers who are going okay so the specialization for our services is mainly touring okay right and even for commuting you can just like check out this vlog and they can maintain by themselves yes so basically this vlog is not for anything else this hmm. is just for an information information basically so in this what is happening like for this bike particularly whatever the numbers mm -hmm. it has cost 30000 km mm -hmm. and it is going to be 3 years so in 3 years there are a lot of like rubber components mm -hmm. which tends to break and crack mm -hmm. and then the failures will start okay like hot and cold temperatures near mm -hmm. the engine side mm -hmm. or the fork where it is like in action all the time whenever you are riding mm. so we have inspected all socket to socket mm -hmm. rubber components mm -hmm. moving components like bearings engine oil supply cleaned out all the uh, oil veins mm. and then filled with the new oils and we have checked the oil supply as well mm. then air and fuel mm. like the injector cleaning was basically done because of the whatever the carbon deposits were there on the throttle body okay so that we have cleaned mm -hmm. and then we have also checked on the air filter mm. even that is completed mm. completely replaced mm. so once air fuel is pure mm. and then your oil is new mm. with a new oil filter mm. then the bike start giving you the different performance obviously right yes. so these are the basic things so coming to the next thing where the clutch plates clutch plates and the sprocket these are the most important things which i can tell on a motorcycle mm. so on the sprocket we have checked on this bike so it was already replaced before this but the chain adjustment was not right okay which on the existing itself we have replaced it mm. like not the whole chain sprocket but just the sprocket bearing whenever the uh, wheel is rotating so there was some roughness, roughness. so only sprocket bearing we have replaced mm -hmm. chain because it was completely tightened and three different adjustment and three different slacks. Mm -hmm. So that we have cleaned and dipped it in the oil. Mm. Then again we have cleaned and uh, lubed it. Okay. So now it is responding good. Okay. And coming to the servicing part. The so servicing just part, give me a gist on whatever we have done today. Yeah. Okay. Servicing part like firstly we have removed your tank, seat, cleaned up complete the chassis frame with mm. all the dust and whatever the rusting was there okay so rust free treatment is also done mm. and also the cleaning is taken care mm -hmm. then flushing of the engine mm. like engine clutch site lh and rh both were dismantled mm. and whole engine oil was drained okay right mm. and then we have flushed the engine mm. not using any flushes or anything but physically cleaning every part like on the gearbox pocket what we have found mm. the debris and mm -hmm. cleaned it mm -hmm. And even in the clutch plate side, we mm -hmm. have removed the inner and outer shelf of the clutch and then replaced with the new clutch plates. Mm -hmm. Then oil filter is replaced. Mm -hmm. And even, even near the coil side, mm -hmm. the whole thing was disassembled, cleaned and fixed it back. Okay. So when I brought the bike in, what was the important issue that you found on my bike? See, mostly the maneuvering was not easy on this motorcycle. Huh. Yeah. So it, when I'm riding it straight, mm. it is very smooth. Okay. When I'm trying to rotate right and left, uh -huh. the maneuvering was not smooth. It was okay. holding up. Okay, so that was due to the bearings, is it? Bearings. Huh. Like uh, like in the earlier part which I have shown, mm. there was no lubricant on the bearing. Right. And also the bearing that has leaving the marks on the ring. Okay. So it was holding up. The uh -huh. roller bearings, uh -huh. it has given that impact on the ring. Okay. So it is holding up. It doesn't have that free movement. Okay. So hmm. that is the reason it is replaced now. So we have changed the the whole cone set right now, the bearings yeah, and... Yeah, two bearings we have replaced. Changed. Nylon cap, you already had yeah. it. So and your no waterproof greasing Grease thing. we have used it So now. that's done. So, yeah. And we had a couple of bends also on the 
ప్రాపర్లీ Uh-huh. So, this one, no? Uh? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, this is the mark of the beading. Okay. Where, if I rotate now also, you see everywhere, it will be in the uniform way. Okay. And the spokes were also loose. Loose. So, uh-huh. this was not fixed properly. That's why that wobbling type of things you used to feel it. Uh-huh. During cornering, isn't it? Cornering. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, now what we have done is, we have done the wheel alignment. Okay. We have removed the bend. Okay. And then s- spokes has been balanced tightened, and tightened. Tightened. And uh-huh. tire is fixed properly. Fixed properly. Front and back both. Okay. So, the whole front side is completely okay right now. Yeah. Okay. Coming on okay. to the next one. uh what issue did we have here okay uh the clutch plates part yeah clutch plate parts is a very important topic to talk with because this is a very few himalayans mm-hmm. where i have seen even after 30000 kilometers mm-hmm. where the clutch plates were as good yeah that would have come uh, continued for another 10000 10000 kilometers, 10, kilometers huh. or like like some friction plates were completely in a bad shape mm. like somewhere also in good shape somewhere also in a good good shape, shape huh. so looking at that majority mm-hmm. that i have taken a call and i have replaced yeah it was really not mandatory for mm-hmm. now yes but then what happens when you have disassembled and fixed mm-hmm. when everyone like the labor costing time and everything is same mm-hmm. and the bike has done 30000 kilometers on the same clutch plates mm-hmm. so i didn't want you to again come back within 5000 or 8000 mm-hmm. to get it replaced yeah now that we have opened it just might yeah. as well change it change right? it yeah so that it Also, I live in Trivandrum right now, so <laughs> I don't uh, trust any <laughs> garages over there. <laughs> yeah, hmm. clutch plates with oh. the friction plate and the springs are new. And the springs are new, yeah. okay. And then we clean the throttle body. Yeah, we have uh, cleaned the throttle body. Okay, so uh, t- let me know if uh, people actually need to do that. And when do they need to do the throttle so body cleaning? All the servicing, whatever I'm telling, mm-hmm. this is not for the bikes which has... not even completed 10000 uh-huh. okay see up to 10000 most of the himalayan because there are a lot of things which should be informed okay see this bike this has done 30000 plus okay then we are doing all these things okay ha huh. so this is not for the people who have not completed 10000 okay right yeah up to like in royal enfield like first service is for 500 mm-hmm. second service is for 5000 mm-hmm. third is for 10000 okay. till then you will not have all these issues okay post that depending mm-hmm. on the riding style mm-hmm. as well mm-hmm. especially on the uh, uh, maintenance like chain sprocket it is completely on maintenance mm-hmm. and also the clutch it is completely dependent on the owner how owner. he rides how he rides mm-hmm. how he maintains the engine oil level right right yeah. if the owner maintains the engine oil level properly on his long distance riding mm-hmm. and if it is the volumes are correct mm-hmm. then he will not ha- have issues in the clutch clutch uh-huh. second when they go on off roading okay kindly switch off your abs and ride right uh-huh. right that plays a, that vital, plays a role. vital role yes. because if the abs is on the mm-hmm. traction is on okay so when when you are holding the clutch on off roading because if you have an incline mm-hmm. so then what happens out of the fear mm-hmm. we don't take the momentum and go right if you take the momentum and go it is very good mm-hmm. if the bike is unable to go and the steep is more mm-hmm. you stop the bike take it back and mm-hmm. then ride forward okay don't spin the wheel holding the clutch <coughs> don't spin the wheel holding the clutch yeah. this mistake if it is avoided most of our off roading rides would be completed without Com- even having any issue on the clutch clutch okay So does not harm the clutch as yeah, much as yeah. huh sure so this is the thing we clean the the fuel pump yeah we have cleaned the fuel pump i think so that will be <laughs> <good>. and <laughs> we have also cleaned the tank tank ha huh? huh. okay that's because nice because most of the time i didn't know that <laughs> okay yeah. thank tank you <laughs> and the drain holes near huh. your fuel huh. cap uh-huh. Uh-huh. even this is completely clean so that any water or anything okay. which goes it is uh-huh. should easily go out of this drain uh-huh. hole okay okay so, so that thing is clean over there and whole huh. tank is clean cleaned. with okay. the fuel filter is clean okay and then your throttle body is clean mm-hmm. whole thing is done and ap- apart from that do we do anything over here nothing right right nothing, nothing. that completes your engine part engine part now coming on to the 
द रेयर पार्ट वेर वी हैड एन इश्यू विद द स्विंग एम एंड द सस्पेंशन राइट सो बेसिकली कमिंग टू दिस पॉइंट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक श्योर ऑल द हिमालयन ओनर्स नोट दिस पॉइंट ओके point number 1 is whenever you get into a situation where it gets punctured okay so after the fixing of the puncture mm-hmm. most of the puncture shops might not know how to adjust your chain sprocket mm-hmm. and the chain slack after yeah. fixing your wheel right huh. so make sure if mm-hmm. they don't know you can mm-hmm. fix there and get it to the nearest service center who can mm-hmm. understand mm-hmm. and make the chain adjustment properly okay if you continue riding mm-hmm. out of my experience here in aom also i have seen lot of bikes Hmm. which chain sprocket has been replaced for 10000 and 11000 11000 it was the very saddest part because it is not a fault of a owner owner because hmm. the technicians whoever has fixed the puncture they don't know 30 to 35 mm okay or like 1 inch slack okay. should be there okay okay the slack should be there of like 1 inch on the main stand okay so if you are adding the pioneers hmm. or adding more weight hmm. then you should keep the slack even more hmm 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 It okay. varies. It depends upon the weight you're carrying. Yeah. So minimum, yeah. what you can notice, 30 to 35 mm. Hmm. So because of that, hmm. there was some issues with the uh, transmission. Transmission. Like the gears were too hard in this. Right. Yeah. This okay. were like. And apart way. from that, we clean the brake calipers, front and back. Yeah, front and back calipers. Mainly, what happens? You have hmm. the main pistons. Mm-hmm. Once you apply, example like front brake when mm-hmm. you are applying. Mm-hmm. So this works with the fluids. Okay. So the fluid gets compressed and mm-hmm. your main pistons pushes your mm-hmm. brake pads okay so that particular portion mm-hmm. most of the time the dust the debris mm-hmm. and all these things gets attracted okay not of the whole piston but okay. half of it okay so basically if you run without cleaning mm-hmm. with the brake cleaners mm-hmm. and cleaning your uh, brake calipers mm-hmm. so off late i have observed many bikes have this issue that after running for some kilometers mm-hmm. they get jammed mm mm-hmm. mm because these are the ventilated disc brake so huh. it doesn't act and it is always engaging your brake pads uh-huh. and due to that heat uh-huh. and the abrasion on your uh-huh. disc uh-huh. so your wheel will get jammed we have completely that is a part of our service okay so we take care of the brake calipers mm-hmm. completely so do you do this with all the bikes yeah, all like the bikes. remove the pistons and yes, clean yes, it thoroughly yes, yes. okay that nice. is a part of our okay. right we inspect check Mm-hmm. If it is required, we replace. If not, we reuse. Them. Right. Okay. And the last part is that I even got the the Bobo uh, charger installed. So I had the wireless before. I now I've got the USB one because I don't use a a wireless uh, device anymore. So but that's why I got to change. We are showing the mobile mount, but people are looking at the mirrors. What you are saying? Exactly. <laughs> Coming to the that was I was about to come to that one. So these mirrors, these are. Uh, You guys can see double take mirror dot com. These are uh, Zoe Bai was kind enough to lend me <laughs> this for uh, quite some days because I wanted to buy them. But before that, uh, he had a pair of them which was unused. He said you could use it for a few days, and uh, I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I have it on my bike right now, and it looks rad. Not gonna lie, I kind of wanted it for the looks as well. Uh, and also the function because the stock uh, mirrors on highways are absolutely useless at the moment let me see how these goes on the highways uh, do you say these will not have any vibrations uh, because i have used it on my 390 390 ha i've seen these yeah because now that bike is under going on for rallies rallies so i'm ha, not ha. using it ha so feel free whatever you mm-hmm. feel after using it that's okay. what you want i want to know and okay. a lot of people want to know mm-hmm. how it performs on himal mm-hmm. yes So as you guys can see it looks so good with this bike and also with the handlebar it looks really good not gonna lie full throttle service that uh, uh, out of motorcycle provides and uh, I hadn't really planned for the service I had come for come to change the mobile holder, mobile holder but then you know he found some issue in the front and uh, I was like okay just get it done <laughs> yes thanks to Zohaib bhai really really big thanks because I I really don't have any option to get my bike serviced in Trivandrum as you guys know I live in Trivandrum at the moment so I don't really have the option the main reason because we would have met like more than like it's been more than a year huh and you have been contacting on the servicing part and so many things yes 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 how often do you think this full throttle service to be done so basically this post 10 or 20000 km okay so every 10000 at least mm-hmm. it is done okay it will be like good for the bike and also for the rider rider so huh. that everything is noted down mm-hmm. analyzed mm-hmm. and reported and when do you think i have to do it again for you you can ride for 10000 km huh. just check your engine oil level for 5000 km uh-huh. if you are doing 
consistently like on the go mm-hmm. every 5000 kilometers check your engine oil level okay. so also till date i've used a uh, semi synthetic oil that is more tool 15w50 sure. today we have put in uh, fully synthetic yeah, what is the grade synthetic. 1050 grade. Okay. So I think that's it for the updates that we have done to the bike. Nothing else, yeah? Yeah, nothing. Now nothing. you have to just ride and experience. And experience and, and see shares. how it goes, yeah? That I will do by time. You guys know about <laughs> that. All right, so that's it for the video, I guess. Thank you, bye. Thank, thank you, so, you much. so much for coming. Yeah. And thank you for everyone who is watching this. Hmm? From my heart, as from the motorcycling community, this is just an awareness on the servicing right. and the maintenance of your own motorcycle. Right. As we all love our motorcycles, mm-hmm. it is also we travel on our motorcycle and motorcycle need this pamper and this kind of the treatment. Mm-hmm. They yeah. deserve it. Yeah. Sure, bye. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. You guys know the drill. Like the video, share the video, subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.